You would see sharks because of how they're portrayed in the media, in TV shows and in movies. Every year, there are about 100 shark attacks, and only 12 of those end in fatalities. This compared to the 73 million sharks that are killed every year from their fins to make a tasteless shark fin soup. Shark finning is a practice in which sharks are caught, their fins are removed, and they are thrown back into the ocean to drown or eat. popular in 968 AD in the Sun Dynasty. Today it is still a traditional Chinese food and the shark fins use no flavor and are only used for protection. In the 2000s following China's economic boom, the average rate of living went up, therefore more people could afford to purchase shark fins. In the past 60 years, shark finning has turned into an industrialized market that has spread to most parts of the world, including the United States. In fact, there are 31 states in the United States that serve shark fin soup. The orange states represent the ones that still serve it, and blue states represent the ones that do not. Shark finning is an inhumane practice. It is still regarded as a delicacy in Asia. Shark fin soup is a symbol of status and wealth and is considered impolite to refuse it. In Asian cultures, especially Chinese, shark fin soup is a symbol of generosity and wealth. Shark fin soup is thought to promote health and extend life expectancy. As you can see by this graphic, Hong Kong controls more than 50% of the shark fin trade, which makes it very difficult to shut down. Sharks are apex predators, and when you remove them from the top of the food chain, a trophic cascade occurs, in which the lower populations become unbalanced. When taken out of the ecosystem, their prey as seals often overpopulate. For this, smaller fish populations will decrease. It occurs at every trophic level until the ecosystem is destroyed. The trophic cascade affects many around it, including small fishermen, who make their living off of small fish such as herring and mackerel. Lesser populations of fish, smaller fishermen are unable to make their living. Though shark finning is the norm in several cultures, many governments have come to realize that shark finning can pose serious economic, ecological, and health risks. For example, the Chinese government recruited professional basketball player Yao Ming to speak for the cause of, against shark fin. The campaign has drastically decreased the sale of shark fin soup in China by almost 70%. Also, prices in local supermarkets of shark fin soup have fallen as well. Nationally, and away from the hub of the shark fin trade, the United States has even passed laws against the consumption of shark fin soup. In 2010, the United States Congress passed a bill that prevented fishermen from shark finning on the Atlantic and Gulf Coast. The bill banned fishermen from using their usual practice of shark finning. This means that they were not allowed to simply cut the fin off the caught shark and dispose the rest of the body into the ocean, where it would die either by drowning or, by, or getting eaten by fish. Our fishermen have quickly found loopholes around this bill that allow them to utilize the same practices they did before. A fisherman has gone hunting for a shark and returned only with his spine and the fins. This is because it is more efficient to strip the flesh off of the rest of the body and just take this part of the shark back. It is space efficient, but technically, and technically it is not breaking the law, but it is inhumane. Sharks' slow population cycles also contribute to the possible extinction of the from this graph, um, the rapid decline of sharks as a species has accelerated since the 1970s when industrialization made shark finning more efficient. For some shark species, especially those that are commercialized by the shark finning industry, reproductive cycle can take up to 3.5 years. Our sharks cannot actually begin the reproductive cycle until they have matured, which can take up to 25 years. The low reproductive cycle of sharks cannot compete with the booming shark fin trade. The perspective on shark finning is not economic or ecological. However, doctors are concerned about the health risks that go along with consuming shark fin soup. This is because shark fins contain a high level of a neurotoxin known as methylmercury. This is because of the waste and pollution that is often put into our oceans. As you can see from the graphic, many types of seafood have high levels of mercury, including marlins, lobster, and crab. 
However, as you can see in the red bar, sharks have an astronomically higher level of mercury than all other types of seafood. Methyl mercury is not a harmless neurotoxin. In fact, the United States Environmental Protection Agency has warned against consumption of shark fin soup for women or small children. This is because shark fin soup can, has been known to cause infertility in women. Another neurotoxin that is known to be found in shark fins is BMAA. Neurotoxin is known to cause Alzheimer's and Lou Gehrig's disease, otherwise known as ALS. Finally, some restaurants that serve shark fin soup treat the shark fins with hydrogen peroxide, which can be highly dangerous in high doses. Though the dosages used in shark fin soup are usually very dilute, hydrogen peroxide can, all, can also cause strokes and nausea. Chinese culture portrays shark fin soup as having added health benefits. This is actually quite the opposite. The health risks of consuming shark fin soup far outweigh the health benefits. is conservationists who protest the practice worldwide. The role of a conservationist is to preserve the biological diversity of an ecosystem. The practice of shark finning not only threatens the population of sharks, but it also can destroy the ecosystem of the ocean. According to the International Union for the Conservation of Nature, approximately one in three sharks is threatened by extinction. Visit some of the websites of some of these organizations listed, such as Stop Shark Finning, Shark Savers, and the Shark Research Institute. You will find a list of ways to get involved in your community and hopefully make a global impact on the shark finning industry. As shark finning becomes a more globally recognized issue, the problem still remains. To get involved and fight back against this global issue, visit some of the previously stated websites. However, most importantly, don't eat shark fin soup.